This is David Vinegar, consultant, obstetrician and gynaecologist in London. Welcome to my video on developments in obstetrics and gynaecology. This one is on the subject of hormones. A hormone is a chemical substance that is produced in a special tissue within a gland. Hormones are released into the bloodstream and then travel to distant, responsive cells where they exhibit characteristic effects. Glands that secrete hormones into the bloodstream are called endocrine glands. The study of hormones is called endocrinology and those doctors who specialise in hormones are called endocrinologists. A hormone acts like a key fitting into a lock and this produces the characteristic response when there is an excellent fit. We call the locks hormone receptors. The chemistry of a hormone may be quite complex. This diagram shows the insulin molecule. And here we have the insulin receptor and the insulin molecule fits perfectly into it in a lock and key type mechanism. Several endocrine glands are controlled by the pituitary gland, a gland that resides at the base of the brain. Endocrine glands that are controlled by the pituitary include the ovaries, and also the thyroid gland. Typically the pituitary releases a stimulating hormone that stimulates the ovaries and the thyroid. It can be considered as a seesaw effect as the pituitary gland releases more stimulating hormone, the gland produces more hormone and as that hormone level rises then the pituitary gland stimulating hormone level falls. As the pituitary gland stimulating hormone level falls, the output from the endocrine gland releases less hormone and so the mechanism is restored to a balance. The thyroid gland releases thyroxine which increases body metabolism. It speeds up the heart and all the chemical reactions in the body. The thyroid gland is under the control of the pituitary, the pituitary releasing thyroid stimulating hormone, a term which is self-explanatory. The pituitary gland is in itself controlled by the hypothalamus, an area again at the base of the brain. As far as the thyroid is concerned, the hypothalamus produces thyrotropin releasing hormone, TRH. So the hypothalamus is releasing thyrotropin releasing hormone which stimulates the pituitary gland to release TSH, thyroid stimulating hormone. Under the influence of TRH the pituitary releases TSH, thyroid stimulating hormone. Thyroxine has a negative feedback effect on the hypothalamus and the pituitary reducing thyrotropin releasing hormone and TSH outputs. This keeps the whole mechanism in balance. Schematically we can see the hypothalamus having a positive effect on the pituitary, the pituitary a positive effect on the thyroid and then the thyroxine having a negative feedback effect on the hypothalamus and pituitary. And here we can see the scheme together with a diagram of the position of the hypothalamus and pituitary at the base of the brain and the thyroid gland which is in the neck. We will discuss the reproductive or sex hormones in a forthcoming video. This is David Vinegar of twowomenshealth.com. Thank you for watching this video.